Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. Yeah, I'm doing a little project today that may or may not get used in my butterfly junk journal. Uh, if you watched that over the weekend, I got this one page from the Benningfields Butterflies book and I just love it. And I want to feature that on a journal card or a tag or something. But then I watched a video this morning by Kyung, Kyung Shotwell. I do pronounce Kyung's name wrong all the time. I do apologise for that, Kyung. And yeah, she made these little fold over journal cards. Well, she made them from note cards. She put a beautiful picture on the front, a pocket inside, and some, yeah, yeah, some lovely pink dyed paper. I'm going totally grungy with mine. I'm using this brown file craft file folder and yeah uh, I'll tell you about these craft file folders as I work uh, I got them from Amazon as file folders they are truly shocking completely and utterly too thin and useless but as junk journalers that's really good for us because I want thin I don't want it so thick that it's going to put too much bulk in my junk journal I just want something just thick enough to make this book page more stable and make it into a card. So that's the folders, they come in packs of 100, they have got tabs on, some of them are a bit damaged but when I tell you price you're just going to think well that doesn't matter. Yeah, they cost me £4.50 for a pack of 100, the 14 inches by, is it 14, yeah foot, about 14 by 9 inches and I've just chopped a couple up, made some of these cards, I'm only going to decorate one today. It's a, yeah, it's definitely a dancing day today. And these are all the bits I've got left that I'm going to use for other projects. So yeah, it's just a really cheap source for a lovely craft card. The reason they seem to be so cheap is on the website, the picture shows it has been that colour. And then it shows it has been that colour. They're very thin. So people who've ordered these to use as file folders think they're atrocious. So yeah, the listing has got really low stars yeah it's got some shocking reviews but yeah so people are obviously ordering them sending them back because they don't like them and then Amazon are reselling them as used as a warehouse deal and yeah like I say I picked mine up at £4.50 and I've checked today they're running at about £5.50 for a pack of a hundred you just can't go wrong right I'll show up waffling and crack on so I've got this card and I want to feature that butterfly in front. I was going to chop it up and make um, one or two journal cards. But I just really want that butterfly. I love him. He's gorgeous. And I love the flowers. There's two. See, I'm blind. I didn't even see that other butterfly. Yeah. Mind you. I don't know the difference between a mayfly and an earthworm today. That's a true story. I'll tell it you later if you're still here listening to me waffle. So, I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm going to do it like Kyung did. I'm going to link Kyung's video as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love Kyung. She's so funny. Funny, just funny. She's got an amazing personality, sense of humour. I absolutely, she's my new favourite person to watch. Right, I'm just going to measure around the edge of the card. I know I'm going to have to cut more than that off. But hey ho. I'm happy. So I've got my four little corners. I'm going to get my little chopper. And I'm going to cut just inside those corners. I know my uh, card's four by six. So I just want to make this a little bit smaller. But not too much smaller. So I'm going to have to cut the top one off first now, aren't I? Because I can't fit it in my little baby trimmer. I'm going to do it upside down because I don't want to... I want it pretty straight. Pretty straight. So the card's four by six, so I'm going to try cutting there at five and three quarters. Perfect. And then I'm going to cut just between the other marks to make it. Oh, God. that was vicious, weren't it? Why I just oh, chop that. So which, I'm just going to cut it on the line and then I'll decide which side I want to cut a bit more off. I think I'm going to cut, I want to cut a bit more off that side, I think. But then I want that flower in. A smidgen off that side and some off that side. Just so I frame this picture how I want it. 
So I've basically just cut this down now to four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then it's going to fit beautifully on there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Really love that. Don't need much doing to it. Don't, well, you don't need anything doing to it. I may stick a little label or a tag on. And that's it. So as you can see, it is quite a simple but genius little product, project. Do I want to round my corners? Yeah, go for it. I've decided now I'm going to make it a little bit different around my corners. But yeah, do you know this morning I got up, well I didn't get up, I woke up feeling ugh, tired. Uh, I'd stayed up far too late crafting last night, which is naughty. I stayed up well two in the morning. shouldn't do that, I need my sleep. And I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to watch some YouTube Looking through my saved videos, realised I'd missed Kyung's last couple of videos. I thought, oh, I'll watch Kyung. She's nice and cheerful. And do you know what? By the end of that first video, I got up and I got a spring in my step. And I just felt so much better. Kids even come to see what were up with me at one point while I was watching it. Because I was giggling so much. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's uh, chuck a bit of ink on it. I've, oh, I was just going to say I've lost my round ink door, but then I spied it. Right, when I'm inking craft cards, I do like to use Distress Oxides because they do show up a little bit more. They're a little bit more opaque than the regular Distress Inks. And then I just got to the point where I just use them and everything. I've just now remembered that I have bought a new ink pad and I've gone at it like it was my old dried up one. So this is getting very grungy now, isn't it? I do think it'll have a home in that journal though. But yeah. Oh. I mean, you could go to town with these journal cards. You could put extra flips and flaps on. You could put more pockets in. But I'm just going to make mine like Kyung did hers because I liked it. And like I said, she's responsible for my good mood today. <laughs> I'm giggling just thinking about it. It's just like there's a genuine joy in her voice when she giggles about things she's saying and doing. She's fabulous. Yeah, put a bit of ink on that one. Right, so that's the front. That's all I'm doing for the front. It just does not need anything else. That picture is so gorgeous. So I'm going to glue this one on. I'm going to use a mixture of Kalal. Ooh, seepage, seepage. Not liking. <laughs> I really don't like getting that glue on my hands, you know, that silicon based glue. Ooh. We had a wee, we've not had one of them for ages, have we? Ooh. Yeah, I also like to report that YouTube seemed to have stopped turning my comments off for the reason of apparently I'm aiming my content at children. I've considered swearing in my videos, but I don't think that's appropriate, is it? Apparently, if you swear in your videos, they won't accuse you of aiming it at children. But yeah. I could start a new channel, The Foul Mouth Crafter. I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just talking rubbish now. Oh, I really like that image. Eee. Yeah, Kyung were telling you about a friend of hers who's given her loads of crafting supplies, but they're all circa 2003. But yeah, do you know I've been crafting that long? A lot of my crafting supplies are circa 2003. Look, love that. Right, we're going to open it up now. You can also see these file folders on the inside. They've got like little lines on. That doesn't bother me. I'm quite happy. Let's put some ink around the inside. I mean, they're just the kind of things. If I did have note cards this size, I would I would definitely make some of those. But you see a lot of note cards in charity shops here. I've not been to a charity shop for over a year, but when I do start going again, I might start thinking, yeah, I'll just pick the note cards up for journaling cards. Is that right way up? It is. So, Kyung used a little journal card there for a pocket. But I think what I want to do is I want to use this. Yeah, a piece of this, and then I'm going to stick my own little butterfly on it. Yeah, because I just love it. Love the colour. And I'm going to get really 
No, I nearly did it. No, oh, something. Yeah, I'm not going to use. <laughs> I'm not going to use my scissors. I'm going to use my trimmer because it always goes wrong when I use my scissors. Oh, yeah, I think Kyong's within in, in my wavelength with that. I can't cut straight to save my life. I start off cutting something that's like a four inch square and it'll end up being a one inch square. Right. Let's, yeah, we know the widths. If I cut that to three and three quarters, smidgen under three and three quarters, it'll be spot on. Yeah, I've got a bit of pencil on it because it's that bit where I... Uh, Do that. There we go. Bring a random piece of this file folder back. Don't bring that one in, Missus, because you're going to use that as another journal card. Bring one of the other random pieces in, like that. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this to just less than three and three quarters. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut it to just less than four. If only I knew what I were doing. So if I make it the full four inch widths, we won't be able to shut that fully. Then I'm going to grab my piece, where's it gone, that I'm using. I have no idea what size on that is. Yeah, it's about two and a half, so I'm going to do it about that. I'm not too bothered about how perfect it lines up on this one. I'm going to round my bottom corners. That's going to be a little pocket there. I'm going to mat it with that and stick a little... Not to buy on it. Yep, bitter inking. So yeah, if you're in the market for some 160 GSM craft card, you really can't go wrong with these folders. But yeah. I always do that on Amazon though. Whenever I'm wanting to buy a new product, I will always look if there's... They always list it under used. And you know it's not used, it's quite often what someone sent back to Amazon. I don't I think in the USA you tend to they tend to just auction that stuff off, don't they? Whereas in the UK they repackage it and sell it as a warehouse deal. And quite there's not always a lot of money off, but sometimes there's some real bargains to be had. I've had packs of uh, designer papers before as a warehouse deal and they've been half the full price I once got some lovely uh, yeah it was a trim craft paper first edition and I was doing a wedding album for someone and I was, oh, I was just short on paper and this paper pad full price was about £20 and I copped on a warehouse deal for half that price because one of the corners were all bashed up I was going to cut it up anyway so yeah, didn't bother me, not a problem. Wee. Right. I'm gonna glue this one on with my where's she gone? Where's my glue gone? Oh, for some reason I've bunged it on my windowsill. I've not put my pin in. I'm such a nightmare. That's what you get when you're crafting at two AM. You abuse your tools. It's not going to come out because I didn't put my pin in. I'm so naughty. Grab another pin out of something else and clear your novel, woman. Yeah, do you know when I have trouble with my glue coming out? It's quite often not because of the glue. It's not the tools, it's me. Not putting pins in when I should. Very untidy. But then I wonder where my kids get it from when they're untidy. Who knew? Can't possibly be from me, can it? No. You will come out. You will come out. I'm quite liking this Anita's glue. Especially when I put pin in. It works fabulously. I've developed my little technique now for using it. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that little pocket on there. I'm really happy with that. Then in the inside back cover, I don't have any dyed papers, but I've got lots of coffee dyed scraps. So I'm just going to find some. Oh, look at that. Yeah, all 
Keon did was pop a piece in so that you can take out right on. Oh, that's going to be perfect when I've chopped it down. So it's not perfect, it's too big. <laughs> it can be perfect. And because this is butterfly themed, I think I might just stamp a little butterfly on it to make it look cute. I said I was not going to be too bothered with complete perfection on this project, didn't I? So yeah, I think that may start sometime now. I want a piece a little bit wide. I'm just going to back a piece on there for you to journal on. Shall I use? Yeah, I'm going to use a piece of this. Checked. Just because I can. Just for something different. So if I cut that there. I've even ripped it where I want to cut it. What's that all about? the size of it so I can just go and chop it down can't I? Yes told you it's definitely dancing day today my brain is not functioning at its best I can't keep a thought in my head for three seconds so I thought yeah I'm going to give this lovely little project to Kyung's world that put me in a better mood for the day hmm. oops <laughs> see I'm juggling with paper. Do I even need to ink? Do you know I don't? Yeah, I do. I'll just put a little bit on. Don't go mad with it, woman. I may put, because this is dark and you can't just write on the back, I think I may just put a piece of scrapbook paper on the back as well. Because this is a thin paper, I'm going to stick this one with my glue stick. Again, I'll have to lid off it a while, but it's... it's uh, yeah, it's recovered now. Yeah. I want to get the whole back covered on this one. Because it's not the thickest paper in the world. I don't normally do such large areas, but if I, if I used another glue, it would be a bit too... You'd feel it through the paper. Yeah, I'm juggling with my glue stick now. And I do like my glue stick. You've got a smidgen of wiggle time if you need it with this glue stick. Oh, I've got a crease. Just, just go with the crease. It looks good. But like I say, it's very thin, this paper, but very nice. Oh, I really like that. It just needs some more butterflies on to jazz it up a bit, doesn't it? And I have my... I'm having a whinge and a moan that my butterfly book was full of really... <laughs> yeah, brown butterflies. But they're going to be so perfect for this. And there's such a lot of small ones. So let's fish a few out and see who's going to look good. I don't want you, you've got blue on. You're really not in keeping with this project. Oh, a green one. <gasps> Lovely Z. But I don't want to put a fly up there. I want one that's going to stand out on that, didn't I? There were some in pairs. I think I've used all the little brownie ones in pairs. Ooh, we only need one on, don't we? Do we? No, that's just going to like, there's too many butterflies there. It's like a butterfly mother's meeting. That's not needed. I'm going to ink this one up and pop him on. Quite a thick book page this so I'm gonna glue him on with my Anita's hmm. Yeah, he looks good. He might even be a moth. Do you know what I mean? I really don't know. Oh I jumped because someone's at the door but kids are in the Lancerate. It's Sony Amazon with a new fan for Rebecca. Right, I think this does need, it needs a label on, it's just looking far too plain as it is, isn't it? So I'm going to grab my larger labels. Yeah, I'll pop a label on it. I could put the one of the ones on that says field notes or something, couldn't I? That's all 
yeah that's providing i can even find the label that says field notes i know there is one in here and i keep passing it by what's that identified specimen i you know i like that actually i do i've no idea who that label come from yeah if you look i think i'll paste it again into this video i did a list of the people who are buying me labels from so this label came from one of them but i'm not sure which one because i just print them off when i need them and yeah i like that that the color of that label goes really well with this and it's something different from the usual brown favorite one that i always go for Ooh. yeah that's that i may put a little label on the inside and then i'm going to get a stamp out and do a teeny weeny bit of stamping you could put a blank one on for you to write something of your own that would be cute you know what i think i'm going to do that i'm going to put a blank one on so you can write something of your own on this Cute. Oh, oh, I said at the beginning of this video that I had a true story about why I don't know the difference between a mayfly and an earthworm. Oh, wow. Oh. I opened my uh, living room doors, French doors, patio doors. We call them patio doors in Yorkshire, but if you want to be posh, they're French doors. <laughs> it's not posh, it's just we don't know what a patio door is in. We don't know the difference between a patio door and a French door in Yorkshire. Well, I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's the first time I've lived in a house that has them. And to be quite honest, they're a bit of a nightmare when you've got kids. Who really wants kids coming straight in off garden into your living room? Whoever come up with that idea didn't have kids, did they? So, yeah, anyway, that's that moan over and done with. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got a little... I've got a stamp set here with butterflies. This is a Dewcraft. This is probably circa 2003 Coyote. And we've got some little butterflies. I love that little butterfly. I think it just needs to be set free. I like that though, that little... I might use that one. That whole... Yeah. So you've got that to journal in. But on the front you've got... I'm not sure if it's on the inside. I could just put that there. I'm going to put that one there. That's where it's going. I'll never make a decision, me, will I? I'm even putting it on a stamp block, it doesn't fit on properly. And I'm going to grab my Versa Fine Vintage Sepia. Yeah, so I open my French doors and there's this insect on it, and I'm like, oh, what on earth is that? Never seen out like it in my life. It were, oh, oh, it were over an inch big. I'm in the UK, so some people in other countries, you might be thinking, only an inch big. No, that's big. That's big. It was huge. It was like, I thought it was going to eat me alive. <laughs> and it had this long thing on it, its abdomen that made it like nearly two inches long. And I'm like, oh, is that a giant stinger? Is it going to have me for breakfast? Is it going to sting me? Am I going to be in A&E? This, I don't like insects. I panic. Oh, remembering it is bringing out the panic in me. Anyway... Uh, we managed to open both French doors, the thing flew away. I did take a very blurry photograph of it, but I didn't get too near, so I was zoomed in so far. And yeah, I went on a bug identifier website and it was asking me all these questions, and I think I didn't understand some of the questions. And then I got the result, and the result was you have found an earthworm. <laughs> Don't even go there. Me and our Becca were howling with laughter over that one. You have found an earthworm. It so was not an earthworm. Turns out there'd been a question, does it have jointed legs? And I'm thinking, well, I don't know if its legs had joints. They might have just been long sticky legs. And I put no. So it was just trawling insects that didn't have legs at all, wasn't it? So, yeah. You have found an earthworm. No, I haven't. Anyway, we did finally find out what it was. It was a mayfly. Not surprising as I've got a stream just over at fence at the bottom of my garden, but I've lived here 11 years, never seen one before. I'm 52 years old, never seen a mayfly, didn't know what it was. It, it elicited a wild panic in me. 
I'll just put that little butterfly there. So yes, hence I don't know the difference between a mayfly and a earthworm. Oh, I really like that. I know I don't like that blank. I want to put something on it. So I'm going to get a number stamp and I'm going to stamp a number on it. Because somewhere in my drawer to me right I do have my number stamp still here. Or do I? I'm, I'm not seeing them. What's this? Oh, these are some little postal mark stamps. The same brand as those. Mm. Well, I spoil it if I put. I'm going to put a really faint butterfly on it. I'm going to double stamp there. There you go. Sorted. I, I just went off it being blank. So that's that. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to leave the back brown. Yeah, I do. I just like it brown. I don't want anything on it. That's done. A very simple project. Got more journal space there. And yeah. So yeah. I don't know the difference between a mayfly and a uh, earthworm, it would appear. It's, it's a wonder I've managed to get to this age. Right, I'm going to shut up now because I'm just in major waffle mode. And I hope you enjoyed that project. I think it may have been quick. I may have waffled so much it took me all day. I really don't know. And yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Bye.